What's up everybody? Uh, it's Charles here with D2APDesigns.com and I'm bringing you another tutorial. Today is going to be a Photoshop tutorial. Uh, just a couple minutes ago I got a request for this. Um, the guy wanted to know how I did this kind of um, fragmented um, offset look on this lady's eye here. Um, so I figured rather than trying to type up a comment or whatever I would just go ahead and make a tutorial on it. That way everyone can see it and be happy. Um, this is pretty simple. So here I have a new comp open. Um, we need to go ahead and duplicate this lady here and just you know right click on the image duplicate layer. That's all I did for anyone who's new and doesn't know. Um, pen tool, uh, make sure this is set to shape and go ahead and add on a fill whatever color you want and then you're going to go ahead and draw out a shape um, I personally am going to use a triangle, but I already have a preset for the triangle, so I'm not going to go ahead and draw it out. Um, this works with any shape you want, um, but I personally like the way the triangle looks, so that's what I'm going to use. So there we go, we drew out the uh, triangle, or I more of just pasted it on there. I didn't need to draw it out, I already had a preset. But anyway, I'm rambling, so this layer we just duplicated, go ahead and drag it up above the triangle. As you can see, the triangle obviously disappears. Um, this black line here that separates the uh, shape and the uh, duplicate layer, go ahead and hit Alt and then left click on the black line. And again, you'll see nothing. Um, well, we need to offset the uh, top layer. So you can use the triangle keys for this or you can use the move tool like that. Um, personally, I like the arrow keys. It, it gives you a little bit more control. You can move it more subtly. So I'm just going to go ahead and move it down and maybe over a little bit. And I'm also going to move the uh, triangle into a, into a position that I like. I think something like that. And then go ahead and move this around a little bit. Um, adjust the size of the triangle as well. Um, let's try something like that. I'm going to move this some more. I'm just trying to find a position I like. It really doesn't matter that much because this is a tutorial, so I don't know why I'm going into so much detail about the positioning of her eye. But anyway, so now, as you can see, it's pretty jagged. Um, it's very obvious that there's a triangle here. And that's fine if that's the look you want, but I'm going to show you what I did here where basically I kind of faded it in to where it's obvious here that there's a triangle, but everywhere else it's blended in. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. Um, for the shape layer, we need to right-click on it and rasterize the layer. And then come to your eraser tool. Make sure the hardness is on zero or at least you know very low, and then size of the brush. It should be, you know, a good decent size. It doesn't have to be overly large. Um, anyway, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start clicking on the edges to soften them and stuff. Um, what I want is I would like for this part of the triangle to be visible, and a little bit probably coming down to about here to be visible. But from here to like here, I'm going to cut all this out and blend it in. So eraser tool, um, you know, adjust the settings. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start clicking away here on the edges. And then I'm going to fade this up a little bit more like that. And there we go. So as you can see, we have an obvious triangle coming across right here and here. But all this in here is no longer there. Now, like I said, if you want it to be more obvious, then you know you don't have to do a bunch of erasing like I did. You can leave it. But personally, I like it to be kind of blended in. I think I won't erase up as high as I did, though. I think I'll let it come down to about here. So there we go. That's the offsetted fragment look. Uh, hope you guys found this tutorial helpful, and I hope I didn't bore you with my rambling. Uh, Till next time, guys. I'm out here. Peace.